Now let's try this question. A coil of resistance 10 ohms and inductance 0 0.2 henrys is connected in parallel with a 100 microfarad capacitor which is also in series with a 5 ohm resistor. The supply is given to be 220 volts 50 hertz. A. Determine the impedance of the parallel combination. B. What is the current in the coil? And then C. Calculate the power factor of the RC part. Now let's solve this question together. Now from the question we are giving the resistance of the coil to be 10 ohms. We also have the inductance to be 0 0.2 henrys. And then we are being told that the coil is connected in parallel with a 100 microfarad capacitor which is also in series with a 5 ohms resistor. So we also have the capacitance to be 100 microfarad and then we also have a resistor that is 5 ohms. Now let's represent the information given in a circuit. So we have this to be the AC source that is giving us 220 volts 50 hertz and then we have a coil consisting of resistance 10 ohms and also an inductance of 0 0.2 henrys and then this coil is connected in parallel with a capacitor that is 100 microfarad which is also in series with a resistor that is 5 ohms. A. We are being asked to determine the impedance of the parallel combination. Now to find the impedance of the parallel combination, let's consider the impedance associated with the 10 ohms resistor and also the inductor to be Z1 and also the impedance associated with the capacitor and this resistor also to be Z2. Now considering this branch, we have the impedance Z1 to be equal to R plus JXL because we have an inductor here. Now we know the value of R which is 10 ohms. We need to find the value of XL. So XL is giving us 2 pi FL and that is equal to 2 pi times we have the frequency to be 50 hertz and also the inductance to be 0 0.2 henrys. So when you multiply this you have XL to be equal to 62.832 ohms. So that is the value of the inductive reactance. Therefore, Z1 becomes 10 plus J 62.832 ohms. So this is the value of Z1. Now let's find the value of Z2, which is the impedance associated with the capacitor and the 5 ohms resistor. So Z2 equals R minus JXC because this time we have a capacitor. We have the value of R which is 5. Let's find the value of XC. So XC is equal to 1 over 2 pi FC and that is equal to 1 over 2 pi times 50 times we have the capacitance to be 100 microfarad so 100 times 10 exponents negative 6 and then that gives 31.831 ohms so that is the value of the capacitive reactance therefore we have Z2 to be equal to 5 
minus J31.831 ohms. So this is the value of Z2. Now we are being asked to find the impedance of the parallel combination. So the impedance of the parallel combination is given as Zt, which is equal to Z1 times Z2 divided by Z1 plus Z2. Now we have Z1 to be 10 plus J62.832 and then also we have Z2 to be 5 minus J31.831 and then divided by 10 plus J62.832 plus 5 minus J31.831. Now let's simplify this. So when you multiply what we have at the numerator, you are going to get 2050 minus J4.15 divided by we are going to add the values of Z1 and Z2 at the denominator. So 10 plus 5 is 15. 62.832 minus 31.831 gives 31.001. Now let's convert each value at the numerator and the denominator all into their polar forms. So for the numerator, we have 2050.004 polar negative 0 0.116 divided by 34.439 polar 64.180. Now let's simplify. So 2050.004 divided by 34.439 gives 59.526 polar. We are going to subtract because we are dividing. So negative 0 0.116 minus 64.180 also gives negative 64. 296 so this is the value of zt and also for the combined impedance we have z to be equal to 59.526 ohms so this is the impedance and then this is the phase angle b we are asked to find the current in the coil now to find the current in the coil, remember that the coil is associated with the resistance which is 10 ohms and also the inductance which is 0.2 Henry. So the current that flows in the coil is going to be the current that flows through this branch. Since the two impedances are connected in parallel, it means that we have the same source voltage expressed across each of the impedances. So to find the current in the coil, you are basically going to divide the voltage by the impedance that is Z1. So let's do that. So B, we have the current in the coil to be equal to the source voltage divided by Z1. Now let's express Z1 from the rectangular form into the polar form. So in the rectangular form, we have Z1 to be 10 plus J62.832 ohms. And then representing this in the polar form, that becomes 63.623 polar 80.000 
0.9957. So from the relation that is i equals v over z1, we have v to be 220 divided by z1, the impedance is 63.623. And that is equal to 3.458 amperes. So we have the current flowing through the core to be 3.458 amperes. C. We are asked to find or calculate the power factor of the RC part. So we are going to find the power factor of the RC part. So this happens to be the RC part, that is the resistor and the capacitor. Now we've already calculated the value of the impedance of this branch, that is Z2, in the rectangular form. So let's convert that value to the polar form. So C, we have Z2 in the rectangular form to be 5 minus J31.831 ohms and then expressing that in the polar form that is going to be 32.221 polar negative 81.0 73 ohms so to find the power factor the power factor is giving us cosine of the phase angle and then we have the phase angle to be 81.073 or better still negative 81.073 so that is going to be cosine of this angle And that is equal to 0 0.155 now because this impedance is capacitive the current is going to lead the voltage therefore we have the power factor to be 0 0.155 leading so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye